Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into one of the most critical challenges in pharmaceutical quality control, OOS data, or out-of-specification results. As you may know, OOS refers to test results that fall outside the predefined specifications or standards set by regulatory guidelines or internal protocols. But why do OOS results occur? The reasons can range from laboratory errors, such as instrument calibration issues or analyst mistakes, to manufacturing inconsistencies like improper mixing or contamination. Identifying these root causes is crucial because repeated OOS findings can lead to delayed product releases, increased costs, or even regulatory scrutiny. Understanding the root causes of OOS is essential for maintaining product quality and ensuring compliance with regulatory standards. Let's explore the five main reasons why OOS results occur. Reason one, analytical errors. The first and perhaps most common reason for OOS results is analytical errors in the laboratory. These errors can stem from multiple factors, including instrument issues. Poorly maintained or improperly calibrated instruments can produce inaccurate results. Reagent quality expired or improperly stored reagents can also contribute to errors. For example, if a buffer solution degrades over time, it could impact the accuracy of pH measurements. Analyst mistakes. Even with well-maintained equipment and high-quality reagents, human error remains a factor. Reason 2. Manufacturing process variability. The second major reason for OOS results lies in the manufacturing process itself. Pharmaceutical manufacturing involves complex processes that must operate within tight tolerances. Any deviation can lead to OOS results. Improper mixing homogeneity is critical in pharmaceutical production. If a drug substance isn't mixed properly, the final product might contain varying concentrations of the active ingredient. This is particularly problematic in tablet production. Equipment malfunctions issues such as clogged nozzles, inconsistent pressure in compression machines, or temperature fluctuations in reactors can all impact the quality of the final product. Operator errors. Lack of adherence to SOPs during manufacturing can lead to inconsistencies, such as overdrying granules or underfilling capsules. Reason 3. Raw material issues. The third cause of OOS results is related to raw materials. The quality of raw materials plays a crucial role in determining the final product's compliance with specifications. Variability in supplier quality. If a supplier delivers raw materials that do not meet the agreed specifications, it can lead to OOS results. For example, variability in the particle size of an active pharmaceutical ingredient, API, can affect dissolution rates. Storage conditions. Improper storage of raw materials can cause degradation. For instance, moisture-sensitive compounds might degrade if stored in a humid environment, leading to unexpected impurities in the product. Contamination. Cross-contamination during handling or transportation can also contribute to OOS results, particularly in sterile or highly potent drug manufacturing. Reason 4. Environmental factors. Environmental conditions in manufacturing and testing areas can significantly impact product quality, leading to OOS results. Temperature and humidity. Many pharmaceutical products are sensitive to temperature and humidity. For instance, excessive humidity can cause tablets to absorb moisture, leading to physical changes or degradation of the active ingredient. Particulate contamination cleanrooms must maintain strict standards for particulate and microbial contamination. Any deviation from these standards can result in product contamination and subsequent OOS results. Pressure differentials. Inadequate control of air pressure between manufacturing zones can lead to cross-contamination or unfiltered air entering critical areas. Reason 5. Stability issues. Finally, stability issues can cause OOS results, particularly during long-term storage or accelerated stability studies. Degradation over time. 
Some pharmaceutical compounds are inherently unstable and degrade over time, leading to changes in potency, appearance, or dissolution profiles. Packaging failures. Improper packaging can expose products to environmental factors like light, oxygen, or moisture, accelerating degradation. Formulation problems. If the formulation isn't optimized, it may not maintain stability under typical storage conditions. For example, excipient interactions can lead to changes in the product over time. So, how can we control and minimize OOS occurrences? Here are a few key strategies. 1. Training and competency. Ensuring analysts and operators are well-trained and follow standard operating procedures precisely. 2. Equipment calibration. Regularly maintaining and calibrating instruments to avoid inaccuracies. 3. Robust documentation. Maintaining clear and detailed records of all processes to ensure traceability. 4. Risk management. Implementing preventive measures like process validations and robust quality checks at every stage. By addressing these areas, we can not only minimize OOS results, but also strengthen overall quality assurance and compliance. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into pharmaceutical industry best practices. See you in the next video.